happening now, local HVAC companies are fighting to stay cool in some hot weather and an even hotter market. A dangerous combination. Our Julia Richardson joins us live in Myrtle Beach. Tell us how they're keeping both their workers and you safe from all this heat. It's got to be brutal, Julia. Eric, Rachel, well, broken AC units can be a handful for technicians, but it's homeowners who tell us that they can be downright unbearable. Jeffrey Lippman has lived in Myrtle Beach for 11 years and says his AC has only broken twice. But he tells me during those times, being inside his house was uncomfortable. It might have been mid 80s. Yeah, it was hot. And if it had gone on for more than a couple days, he probably would have stayed in a hotel. HVAC companies all across the Grand Strand and PD are exhausting themselves to avoid situations like these, including ARS Rescue Rooter, which claims it averages 64 calls a day. As it continues into August, our, our service stays high because we got them high temperatures, so we continue to have a lot of COD calls on the board, which is, you know, uh, going out and, and broke systems and, and uh, you know, the system's not keeping up. Fixing these units can mean technicians are working in triple digit temperatures, sometimes going into people's attics. One tells me he doesn't do daily installations or repairs anymore, but he remembers how brutal it could be. It was hot and I know what the guys are going through in there. So ARS employees go through training on how to stay cool and more importantly, learn when they need a break. We, we take it very seriously when it comes to safety. So if they start to feel like they're out of breath or they, they're starting to stop sweating, um, we make sure that they get take the breaks from the attic and go into an air conditioned van or shade under a tree. They're now urging you to get yearly AC unit checks to help keep technicians out of toasty attics and save you a pretty penny. Don't wait till it breaks because when you don't have maintenance done and you wait till it absolutely breaks down, the cost could be a lot higher. And I'm told one way to know if you need your AC unit checked is by looking at this pipe on the side of your house here. If it's dripping water, that means that you are good. But if it's not, then you should call your local HVAC company. In Myrtle Beach, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.